Hey guys, Christmas three day weekend. I've got a bad power supply. That's smoke. That's a lot of smoke. Uh, and it wasn't smoking earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just unplug that. Ah, uh, there is the smell. Yes, perfect. Uh, so today we're gonna be replacing uh, power supply and a computer. I'm gonna show you how to test them and all that stuff even without some fancy tools. So it's gonna be fun. Let's hop to it. Okay, so this computer, it's just a little fun one I use for occasional side work. And uh, power supply started making some noise a little while back. And uh, the other day it shut off on me. And I just plugged it back in to see if I could get it going. And obviously there's some smoke coming out. So I'm going to pull it out of this case real quick, which actually takes a minute because this case is an interesting one. I, don't know, I wanted to try something different. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Different shape. So I'm gonna pull that out, get it over on the workbench, and we're gonna take a look. Here's the power supply, all taken out. And just for fun, let's see what happens when I push this button. Sounds like it might, oh, oh, we got something. She's cooking. <laughs> That's really bad. I'm gonna pop that open, see where it's coming from. Do not try this at home. There are capacitors in there. You can get a very nasty shock. Very, very dangerous. Do not open these. cover off I am curious I just can't help myself I don't, I don't know where's that smoke coming from oh, it's coming from up here something's melted way down in here Did you hear that noise that was the noise it was making before it went Oh, it's so high pitched. Yeah, so that's bad. So I'm going to be replacing it. I've got an old one out of another computer and I'm gonna show you how to test it and make sure that it's good. So I've got this guy, this is an old one, but it should work. It's got the right power connector, but most of them do. It also has the, uh, video card, six pin, and it's got CPU, four pin. Um, but I noted that this one has a bad fan. Um, but otherwise, I believe it was working. So, I've got the fan out of this one, and I'm hoping to just replace it. These are the same size. It should go in. Worst case scenario, I'll have to figure out a connector. So I'm going to pop this one open real quick see what we have inside. Okay, fan just plugs into the motherboard. Well, the main board, I should say, here. And they are different. Of course they're different. I'm going to have to splice this connector onto that fan, and then we should be good. I have my fan installed, spliced together, that worked. Now I can test the power supply. Now, if you have a power supply tester, this is when you pull it out, plug it in, and it would tell you if it's good or not. But I've loaned out my power supply tester so we're going to have to do it the old school way. 
um, which you could do with a multimeter and a piece of wire. So we just need to turn this power supply on to test it. If you're lucky, you'll have one of these sitting around because they come with um, new power supplies. Not all of them, but some of them. And all you do with that is plug it in the correct way. That's this way. And when you do, it turns power supply on. And now you can back probe all these connectors to make sure that everything works. Uh, if you don't have one of these, that's okay. You can make one out of a piece of wire. This is just a twist tie I had laying around. And all you're doing is probing the pin number four on the second row with the ground next to it, and that shorts it out like that. Uh, now in standard wiring, the power on switch is this little green wire. There's no amperage on it. You're just shorting it to ground. And on either side of it is the black wire, and black wire is ground. So just shorting those two pins together, that green wire to any ground wire, turns the power supply on. And from there, we can test it. So now we are ready to test. Got your standard multimeter set to DC volts. There we go. Set to DC volts. Pretty simple. And then we're just going to be probing all these wires. They all have different colors on them. Different colors mean different volts. So we've got the orange ones, for example. Those ones are 3 volts. We've got this blue one, which is negative 12. That's the only negative 12. We have the green one we spoke of earlier. That one's to trigger the power on, so we're not testing that one. All the blacks are negative. All the reds are uh, 5 volts. More blacks for negative. Another red, 5 volts. More blacks. We've got the white one. Now, the white one isn't necessarily in every power supply. So if you don't get a reading on it, this one doesn't really matter. Um, but that is negative 5 volts. Then we've got the gray one. If you have this wire, this is uh, the self-test for the power supply. If the power supply thinks everything is good, then it'll give you 5 volts on this wire. Uh, we've got more red. Like we said, red is 5 volts. Another red. Yellow is 12 volts. And then we have this purple one, and purple is 5 volts, and you'll have power on this one, whether the power supply is on or off or anything. This is the sleep or standby power. So we have that one there. Um, then we've got the plus 4, black, negative, orange, 3.3, .3, red, 5, and yellow is 12. And that pretty much carries on to all the other connectors. So we've got our video connector. Three grounds, three yellows, and we know that yellow is 12 volts. We've got these ones. The same thing applies. Red is five, yellow is 12, black is ground. Goes all the way to the end, so you only need to test one of those. But in my experience, if the main one for the main board is working, then these are working too, but you can test them if you want. You can't really test the SATA. Um, from the end because those pins are so small you can sometimes squeeze in through the end Or you could get to it if it has the little gap right there. You'll be able to test them But just like the other ones orange is 3.3 .3, red is 5 and then yellow is 12 volts We've got another one of these we were talking about that and then we've got the CPU connector and that one You see it's got yellow and it's got black so that's pretty much all the wires we need to test. And I'm just gonna turn on the power supply, probe each one, make sure it's got close to the volts that it should have. Um, and with po computer power supplies, they should all be pretty close. Before getting to testing too much though, I am just gonna put it together so it's less risk of shock to me. So, we are now ready to test. So at this point, either turn it on with your 
jumper or with your wire whatever you prefer I'm going to use the wire this time because it's easier to probe with that so the first one negative we're just going to stick that in any old negative it doesn't matter really which one um, I'm actually going to try to go up from the back side so it'll hold itself and I can free up another hand so first one up is an orange one should have 3.3 I have 3.2. Next one's an orange one. Again, 3.3. I have 3.2. Next one down from that is another orange one. 3.2. Next one down is the blue one, which is negative 12. I have a negative 11.3. Which is getting kind of far out, but that'll work. Next one down is a red one. Skipping of ground. Red ones are 5 volts. I have 4.95. Uh, next one down from that is another black one. So skipping down to the next red one. 4.95. That's good. Um, coming up here, I've got the white one. White is negative 5. It's not always present. So if you don't have this one, that's okay. Not a big deal. Gray wire. Self-test. Gray will be 5 volt if the power supply itself thinks it's good, which it is. Got another red one, 4.95, that's perfect. Uh, the purple one, that's 5 volts all the time, even when the power supply is off, that one's good. Another red one, 5 volts, 4.95, that's good. Yellow one, 12 volts, I've got 12.14, so that's good. Another red one, 4.95. Another yellow one. Should be 12, 12.13, good. And an orange one, 3.3 volts, and I got 3.23. Uh, all the power on this main plug checks out. I'm gonna check my CPU power real quick. I am leaving my jumper down there so the power supply is still on. We need to move to this ground because this is separate from the other ground. And we're just checking here, 12 volts, should have 12 volts on both of these pins, and I do. So my power to my CPU is good. Um, next I'm going to check power to the video card, which is this one. Uh, the side closest to the clip is all ground, the side away from the clip is all 12 volts, so we got 3 and 3. So I'll stick the ground up any of them. 12.13, 12 12.12, 12.12. 12 that one is good. So SATA, it's hard to test the SATA because the pins are so small. If your probes are small enough, which mine are not, mine are pretty broad, you can probe these guys right in there and that'll tell you it's the same thing black is ground 12 volt is yellow 5 volt red 3 volt well 3.3 is orange uh, the only other connectors we have on here is the Romex these ones are easy to test they've got common on two of the ports and then we have 5 volts and 12 volts we're all good there. So this power supply tests perfectly. So as long as I didn't fry my computer motherboard, I should be able to put this in and it'll fire right up. Let's give it a try. Flip this power switch. There it is. So far, so good. I see my network lights blinking. Let's 
Let's see if it powers up. There it is. We are back in business. All right, well that's it for me today. We were able to test that power supply. It all checked out good. We bring it in here and the computer fires right up. So that is a win for me. I will eventually get another power supply on order so that I have it just in case because that one's pretty old. But for now, everything is working. All right, well thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time on 3 Day Weekend.